What is up everyone? Good morning. Welcome to Agina Craft. This is currently 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning and what better thing to do is than to use fabric dye in epoxy resin and see what's happened or what happens. English is not my first language so please bear with me. Uh, I got black, I got blue and I got red and I got some resin mixed up. So, you know, movie magic and all that jazz. Um, so I'm going to divide this into three and uh, I'm going to pour it into a project to see how it reacts, how opaque it becomes, you know, chasing the perfect opacity is one of the deepest things and the hardest alchemies of epoxy and epoxy works. And also having a coffee in the morning is one of the most important things you can have. But I digress. Okay, so let me show you what's what. Here, as you can see, we have a mass. There you go. So I am producing forever pistachios. Please excuse the camera arm. But this is the only way I can record things. I should move this a little bit to the left. There you go. Now, how is that? Awesome. So, I have prepared these forever pistachios. And they are basically pistachios encased in resin. So, I put resin in, put the pistachios in, put resin over, cover it up. Um... I have, a com uh, I have an entire other video how I make these, but I have decided I will sacrifice a tray and I will use red, blue and black on them. Uh, I don't want to use it on all because they are for sale and they're going to go in the shop and I'm trying to make enough for the people to buy because this is basically my number one seller because they are like... They are from Agina, as you can see, pistachios from Agina, not from my back garden, but from the cooperative which uh, collects all the pistachios and bags them. And these are the best pistachios on the planet, according to professionals. So I encase them in resin. So this is what we're going to do. I have the resin mixed up. They make some space. Don't worry about the mess here. That's a completely normal phenomenon when you work. And I know I could use silicone trays and baking pads and all that jazz. But listen, uh, silicone trays are expensive and it's complicated to get here. And uh, honestly, I was just lazy to look it up because I had enough on my plate with the shop right now. So I'm using MDF as my base and I covered it with oil many, many times. So it's soaked into the MDF. And uh, what I usually do is I heat gun spatula and I remove most of it. Then I send the whole thing flat and I have like, this is, this is this thick so I can level it uh, as much as I need to. And if I can't deal with it, I just flip it over. <laughs> the other side is brand new. Anyway, enough rambling. And it's time to divide these guys into three. So I'm trying to... I'm trying to get an even amount of this thing. That's way too much, dude. No. I don't know. Um, half a... So this is probably going to be a deciliter each or a hundred mil for you Western Europeans and other people on the world in the world over the world whatever so fabric dye uh, you use fabric dye you put this you put this in a, in a washing machine you put your clothes in you put vinegar and salt in and uh, you let it let it rip basically and most of the time it works, depending what material you use. But it, it, 
it changes the color of the clothing. I I used it often, and I have the next girlfriend who was a amazing uh, designer, clothes designer or costume designer, and she taught me about this thing. And I usually use it when I have like a, a cloth a clothing piece I don't want to get rid of, and I like it. Anyway, it comes in a satchel like this. How should I go about this? Um, I think I'm just gonna tear off the top. I'm gonna tear off the entire top piece. Let's have a look inside. I should wear gloves. And let me put on some gloves because I hit my finger and now it's uh, sensitive. I have an open wound on that hand. And I really don't want it to go under my nail, if I can avoid it. Alright, so we have a black powder. Uh, I'm going to use a spatula from the pile over here. And I'm going to put this much into this let's mix it up let's see let's see what it does oh boy well it's black all right but is it black black the sunlight doesn't go through it's so black okay so spatula full or you know Now, the particles doesn't disappear or dissolve, does it? Let me try a fresh spatula and have a look. No, it doesn't. You can see, you can still see the particles in it. Anyway, and if you, if you lay it down thin, it becomes gray and you can see the bits in it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now, because this hucker is going to go off anytime. So I need to be a little bit more speedy about it, and especially when I say I need to be a little bit faster, then the whole thing just sticks to it. <sighs> you know I do this for a living? Anyway. There we go. Rip it off. Let's see what's inside. We got... Okay, this looks exactly like the other one. So I'm just gonna pair them up and separate them before I mix them up like mad. Okay, uh, another spatula. I'm gonna get a spatula full. This is more coarse than the black. This is blue. Okay, that's a little... I'm trying to get the same amount, okay. Oopsie. Sorry about the camera. Okay, according to fuck. According to the book book, uh the cover, the bag, the satchel, this should be blue. It's indigo blue. It's not perfect blue, it's dark, very, very, very navy blue. But it's almost black, as you can see. Okay, we learned that. Okay, cool. Where are you? There you go. I'm gonna put this satchel back in a big bag. And let's get the red. Uh, this is the one I'm most curious about. Oh my god, how can you pack something in a most idiot way? Seriously, this shit should win an award. Use the strongest glue on the piece of paper. Like, make sure you can't open the shit. Because you have a paper satchel in it anyway. Jesus Christ. Anyhow. Satchel open. What's in it? Okay. 
red powder. Let me get a semi sticky. Oh, come now. Spatula. Finger mold. Put the powder in the liquid. Ooh, guys, this looks. Ooh, terracotta. Okay, um, I might have overdone it because this looks blood red. Okay, these are not really the colors I was expecting. But hey, live and learn, I guess. Okay, mm hmm. Okay, I think I did mix it in quite well. It's interesting. Let's put it up in the sunlight. It's blue. And it's black. All right, let's put this away. Let's put these dyes away for now. I guess you could keep them in a dark, cool place for future use. Trying to do some sketches. Let's pour the black. Oh my god. This is black, all right. So I got about man about three millimeter thickness. It looks black. It looks opaque as fuck. To be honest with you. All right. Let's do the blue now. Okay, this looks black as well. Cool. By the way, uh, I would like to take this time to thank everyone on buymeacoffee.com who supports me with uh, their pocket change to keep the lights on in the shop. And I also want to thank every single one of you who buys stuff from my web shop at givecraft.com. Uh, you can find the ways how you can support me on my description of this video and in the comment section. So yeah, if you, if you like my shit, if you like my stupid face and if you like the shit I'm talking and if you want to make sure that I keep doing this, then you can do that. This looks like strawberry jam. I so want to eat strawberry jam now. <sighs> this is what happens when a fat fuck tries to do some epoxy work. I get my cravings. Ah, life is hard. Um, anyway, I have some left. So what I'm going to do is... Oh boy. Uh, okay, I need to think this out. I'm going to move the U here. I'm gonna put you here. Okay, this is an unexpected development. And I'm gonna use eh, you know what? Let's mix. Let's let's mix. Let's see how these things react to each other. So I'm going to put a little bit of red in this one, in this one, 
in this and this okay then i'm gonna put a little bit of blue in the same like that let's see how they play with each other all right put a little bit more red in this and to back from this corner okay so I used up pretty much all the all the resin for that and I need to use oh boy I forgot to mix it up I need to make blue quick, very fast, very, very quick, very, very right now. Oh boy. I left the rest of the clear untouched, so I need to mix it in very fast before it starts to set. Luckily, I left it in a wide mixing bowl. So, it should be all right. If you want your own forever pistachios, I sell them on my web shop too. And uh, I sell them for five bucks a pop, but you can only buy them like four piece a set. And I tell you why, because postage would cost more if you buy a single piece than if you buy a set. Like if you buy a set of four and you live in Texas, it would only cost you like... Uh, da -da 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 less than less than uh, 15 bucks for for delivery and if you live in New Zealand the same rule apply so I got a very good deal on postage anyway let's pour the rest of the resin I really hope it comes out right. I might gonna do a swirl in the in the one I mixed the colors in. Don't tell me I don't have enough for all of them. How can you be so wrong? Come on, I just need eight more. Seven more. Okay, I need to mix up another tiny amount of resin. Ah, oh, what a life. Uh, okay. Now, how much resin do I need for these? Um, I mixed up originally 450 grams, so I will probably need barely any. So I'm going to do... Eighty, a, and forty, b. So one, e. That's a little bit too much. I put sixty b in it instead of forty, which means um, I need to put forty more b in it. Uh, forty more a in it. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Ah, life. Let's do a different color. Let's do it. Let's do this. 
Okay. Eh, you know. It's the magic of live shows. I mixed up way too much now. And I put some turkeys ink dye in it or alcohol dye in it. And now I'm trying to mix up the old and the new resin, which was in the pot. They don't do anything bad. So, do the swirly swirl. And pour. And I have a little bit left. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Sorry for shaking the cam. I have a shaky hand this morning. Okay. Well, I managed to not fuck it up too bad. Okay, now. As a final step, I'm just going to do a few swirls, you know, just see how it reacts. Okay. And now I spray the whole thing. First, I use a blowtorch to get rid of the bubbles on the top. You don't have to be afraid of a blowtorch. You just need to use a very low flame. And be very fast. And yeah. Simple as. And then I like to spray some alcohol on it, just in case if I missed any bubbles. All right, that's that's a wrap for that. And now, and now we're gonna wait. I re I'm really curious how it's gonna come out. Uh, the red looks clear. I can see that immediately. The blue and the black looks almost identical. And the one I mixed, they didn't mix. Which means they stayed separated in the in the in the holes. Anyway, um, I get back to you guys when it's ready. I guess. See you in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back and this is the afternoon. Uh, I have been exiled from my workshop because I have flood coating curing there and I didn't want to make a mess. Now, they're almost cured, so it is time that we take a look at what have we what we done. So we got the baseline with the blue. Uh, this is with uh, mica. This came out pretty normal. And this is going to be, okay, oh, okay, see the cloud over there? So it basically dissolved a little bit of the previous coat, it's like fog underneath, can you see it? Pretty decent. So this is where we mix the colors. Let's have a look at the red. Oh my god.
What the fuck? Okay. So this malt has gave out. Which is an interesting thing to happen. As you can see. I don't think it's because of the resin, as you can. You see, because it happened in the previous cut. I think it was exposed to too much heat, to be honest with you. Anyway, let's try to pop another one. Okay. Yep, this is gone too. Well, these are single-use molds, apparently. Anyways, this is the red. Fabric dye. And uh, you can see the particles in it. Can you see it? So, yeah. Sorry about the wobbly, but I got some wind in the garden. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Okay, so that was the red. Let's take a look at the blue. Oh boy. I haven't sprayed mold release on this because I've been using... Oh my God, this is bad. Mm. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so... Somehow, huh? Okay, so this is the blue. Pretty good opacity, I would say. And this is the black. And the black has perfect opacity. Now I just need to figure out how to clean up this mess. I don't know what exactly happened with this, but it fused to the silicone. It doesn't make any sense, to be honest. And it fused to different layers. I think I think it was exposed to too much sun because it never happened before, and I made a bunch already. So that's the only variable in this equation. Anyway, the black came on pretty good. The red sucks. And where's the blue? And the blue is kind of in between. I mean, if I would use it... Oh, boy. <clears throat> That's going to be a mess to clean up. If I would use it, I would use the black. I wouldn't use anything else but the black. Black is pretty good. Rest, nah. Didn't really win. And uh, sound down in the comments what you think. Why, why did it fuse? Why did my resin fuse to the silicone this time? And not any time before when I used the same mixture, same resin. Same pretty much everything apart from maybe the sun. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this video. We learned a little bit about fabric dyes, and I think I will learn how to clean this fucking thing up. Um, thanks very much. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.